Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends, get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers all over the world. Once again, you are welcome to another edition of Daily Morning Devotion. And today, being Thursday, June 24, 2021, the text for our devotion today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 57 through 80, which read thus. When it was time for Elizabeth to have her baby, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy, and they shared her joy. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him after his father, Zechariah. But his mother spoke up and said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, There is no one among your relatives who has that name. Then they made signs to his father to find out what he would like to name the child. He asked for a writing tablet. And to everyone's astonishment, he wrote, His name is John. Immediately, his mouth was opened and his tongue was loosed. And he began to speak, praising God. The neighbors were all filled with awe. And throughout the hill country of Judea, people were talking about all these things. Everyone who had this wondered about it, asking, What then is this child going to be? For the lost hand was with him. His father Zechariah was filled with Holy Spirit and prophesied. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come and has redeemed his people. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servants David, as he said through his holy prophets of long ago. Salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath he swore to our father Abraham to rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High. For you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins, because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven, to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he lived in the desert until he appeared publicly to Israel. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we bless you for the miracle of another day, Thursday, the 24th of June, year 2021. We worship you for the lives of the viewers all over the world. We bless you for your church that is moving forward. We bless you 
for Nigeria that is still sent together as a single entity. We worship you for Advent Cable Network Nigeria. We adore you because the station is glowing, is blossoming. Thank you for the staff. Thank you for the leadership of our church. We worship in all ramifications. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Father, we commit this morning edition of our daily fountain unto you. Take control in Jesus' name. As many as are, whose life have been affected by the type of name they carry, I pray, Father, that you redeem such in Jesus' name. Rescue such in Jesus' name. The grace to attribute much importance to the name we bear, to the name we give our children, grant unto us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Viewers all over the world, once again, you are welcome. The topic before us this wonderful Thursday, the 24th of June, 2021, is the birth and circumcision of John the Baptist. The birth and circumcision of John the Baptist. According to the manual we have in our daily devotion, the birth of John the Baptist brought great joy to the family and neighborhood, mainly because the mother had him at old age and has prophesied to his father. At his naming, eight days after, the people would have named him Zachariah, after his father. But for Elizabeth's blunt refusal because of the prophecy concerning his birth. A name, a name is what distinguishes one from another. Names are very important and powerful. So much so that they can affect a man's destiny either for good or bad. Viewers all over the world. From our text, we saw how the earlier an angel visited Zachariah. Zachariah is of the line of Abijah, as a prophet, as a priest, why his wife Elizabeth belongs to the line of Aaron. Both were faithful in serving God. Yet they were barren. Even though they were faithfully serving God, according to the scriptures, yet they had no issue. I pray and I prophesy to the life of someone watching me today. You are faithfully serving God, yet there is a reproach in your life. The God, omnipotent God, that removed the reproach in the life of Elizabeth and Zachariah, may remove the reproach in your life in Jesus' name. When John was born at old age, eight days after, let's not forget that when, the, when Zachariah failed to believe the angel that ministered to him, that prophesied that his wife uh, will give birth, will be pregnant, give birth, he disbelieved. He asked for a sign, and the sign was that he became dumb. He became deaf. But the message has been passed across to his wife that they will name the child John. Zachariah was deaf and maybe partially dumb at the birth of John. And when it, it was eight days that the family gathered together, they intended to name him Zachariah after his father. But Elizabeth refused bluntly and said the name of the child is going to be John. According to 
Amanua, names are very important and powerful. So much so that they can affect a man's destiny, either for good or bad. Viewers all over the world. Thank God for the grace of Christianity today. And I still want to admonish us that we should take care how we name our children. I wonder when some people today will give their own child junior. When you know that even at every place of work, it is the senior that rules. Junior has no place. May God forgive us in Jesus' name. May God forgive us in Jesus' name. A name is what distinguishes one from another. Names are very important and powerful. So much so that they can affect a man's destiny, either for good or for bad. In John's case, the name was given by Angel Gabriel, and that was why the mother vehemently refused that he should be called Zachariah. Because according to the to their the culture, they have to name him according to line to the line to the to the paternal line, the line of the father. The name of uh, that is the name of his father. Zachariah was invited and he confirmed the name in writing. He wrote his name is John and suddenly recovered his speech. I pray for someone hearing me today watching me all over the world, that if there is any challenge, any obstacle in your life, as you yield to the message of God, let miracle happen upon your life in Jesus' name. I pray that you experience the miracle of God right away in Jesus' name. Immediately, they gave a tablet to John, uh, to Zachariah, and they wrote that his name is John. As people jubilate, he too started praising the Lord. And there, he gave the uh, prophecy. He prophesied, praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel. He gave the prophecy and then uh, gave us what we call Benedictus in our worship today. He gave the prophecy, worship God who has shown Israel, who has shown Israel mercy. And then the mission of the newborn baby. That is, he was going to prepare the way of the Lord. It was to be to serve as errand for Jesus Christ. He was to uh, give his people the knowledge of salvation, according to Psalm verse 77, through the forgiveness of their sins. No wonder he was known as John the Baptist. He gave us a praise chant called Benedictus today, which has two parts. Part A is the fulfillment of the promise of redemption and the gift of Christ Jesus. And Part B, the ministry of John the Baptist. The fulfillment of the promise of redemption. Because for long they have been expecting Messiah. For long there have been prophecies upon prophecies that the Messiah is coming. We thank God for the birth of John. Zacharias burst into prophecy. Praise God for the fulfillment of that age-long prophecy of Messiah. And then describe what the newborn baby, John, would do. I pray for viewers all over the world. Maybe there have been expectations, age-long expectations that are yet to be fulfilled in your family, upon your life. 
I pray that the grace that God will look upon your life graciously today as you are listening to this message and receive your miracles in Jesus' name. Wherever you might have been looking up unto God, age-long prophecy that you have been expecting, the fulfillment of which you have been expecting, right away, may them see the light of the day in Jesus' name. May God glorify himself, even in your life, in your family, in your husband's, in, in the life of your husband, in the life of your wife, in the life of your children, in your, in your nuclear family, in your extended family, in your business, in your career, in your academics, in Jesus' name. I pray that you receive the touch of God right away in Jesus' name. In the scriptures, God had to change some people's names before they could step into the fullness of their purpose and divine mandate. For instance, Abraham was changed to Abraham. Sarai was changed to Sarah. Jacob was changed to Israel. It is possible that people may have, wrong, may have wrongly named you because of your background and present challenges. You must reject names that do not align with your faith or with what God calls you in his world. This is because you are the apple of God's eye, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, blessed beyond cause, the seed of Abraham, wonderfully and fearfully made. Peraventure, viewers all over the world, Peradventure, maybe you are suffering from an ailment, a sickness that people have named you with. I pray today the name is taken over your life in Jesus, removed over your life in Jesus' name. The names that have become a curse upon your life, upon your family, the blood of Jesus, wipe them off today in Jesus' name. Prayer, Lord, I dissociate myself and family from the effect of every negative name. Pray along with me. Say, Lord, I dissociate myself and family from the effect of every negative name. Lord, I dissociate myself and family from the effect of every negative name. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, we worship you for this morning episode. We adore you, Father, for your word that you have taught us through the birth and circumcision of John the Baptist. Father, an age-long prophecy was fulfilled in the birth of John the Baptist. I pray for viewers watching this program all over the world. An age-long prophecy concerning you, concerning your lineage, concerning your community, may they be fulfilled now in Jesus' name. May they be fulfilled now in Jesus' name. The Lord that removed the reproach of Zechariah and Elizabeth. I pray Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota of the word of God will pass unfulfilled. Be that as it may, I pray. Any age-long stagnation upon your life be removed in Jesus' name. And if there is any wrong name you are carrying, may the Holy Spirit correct such in Jesus' name. I pray if such, an, if such a name has any negative effect upon your destiny, may such be removed with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website 
website www.acnntv.com.